All right, everyone, I made a oopsie in my merch shout-out video there in fan submissions because I accidentally mixed up uh, two people. So let's try to get it right this time. We've got some links in the description, not archived, of course, various links to people's pages. Wanted to show some cool stuff off that I've gotten. First and foremost, for the fourth annual Grifties, I am the People's Grifter. Link in the description to thegrifties.com. And you can, of course, vote for me. I've already been submitted for next year. So thank you to Hotep Nation for that award. Winner of the same thing, two years running. Now we're going for number three. We'll see what happens. Then we've got Webster's Wares. Webster'sWares.com slash sticks hyphen wares, where new things are available here. We have various knives. These have the Uruburos logo on them, of course. That one's a nice hunting knife. That'll come in handy for hiking times. A folding knife, of course, because you always need one of them. I like that. Again, these have the Ouroboros logo. These are now available on the store. Sticks, hex, and hammer. Flags. That will probably go back there. I like the Trump flag. I like to rotate the flags every once in a while just to mix things up. Got the Roman flag, the uh, uh, Minuteman flag from Fallout 4, of course. Speaking of Fallout 4, I got something else to shout out over here. There are jackets now available as well. Let's see if I can do this without getting it upside down. Also with the Ouroboros logo. I believe that is leather. I'm going to open that on and open that up and uh, try it on actually in a little bit. <clears throat> I wanted to keep all of these things uh, intact before I did the uh, shout out video here. And of course with Webster's Wares, uh, they are a sponsor of my live streams. The beanie, of course. I'm going to have to get one for Tim Pool. Although I think his is more uh, slim fit here. This one has the little bob at the top. Or I can pull it down further. I don't know. I don't really wear beanies, so I'm not sure how the hell you're supposed to wear them. Yeah. Floof. Yeah. yeah it, might, it might be a bad hair day for me. <laughs> Come in handy in colder weather, though. You know, keep your head warm. Also, where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I guess that knife is sharp. <laughs> I just cut myself on it. Whoops. Nice. I'll, um... Yeah, I'll vouch for it being sharp because I barely touched it just now. Uh, having a few mistakes today. Definitely want to show off the straws. These are metallic straws. These say sticks hex and hammer on them. Ooh. And uh, you can use these for whatever you're drinking so you don't have to kill tortoises with those uh, shitty plastic straws. Nor do you need to get those Italian ones that are made of pasta, which is innovative, I suppose, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it would make your drink taste a little bit weird after a while. So that's all from Webster's Wares. Thankfully, uh, oh God, Jesus Christ. We've got Mayor Mortimer's stuff here. He actually uh, refurbishes briefcases, so I've got a nice leather briefcase. I'm thinking that would just about fit this laptop, so maybe next time I travel I'll use that instead of the laptop bag. I like this. The General's Reaper sauce, of course. Uh, Carolina Reapers and cayenne peppers are the main ingredient in this, so I'm sure that it is extremely hot. I think it's meant to be more of an additive for the heat than it is anything else. But uh, I'll be uh, definitely trying that. I've gotten more into spicy things as I got older. And oh, also, stupidly spicy seasoning, of course, from, uh, it was the Good Seed Food Company. Be using some of that. I'm wondering how spicy it is. I want to find, like, the spiciest thing that I can find and do a taste test. Another hiking implement. Kilroy was here from World War II. Famous cartoon. Not sure if they ever figured out exactly where it originated. Can't remember. There's other stuff in here, too, that i got to get to. No, oh, come over here, my friend. Yeah, you can put your laptop cord back there. A lot of stuff about Japanese internment, uh, actually. This is a, a film about the, uh, the story of the Heart Mountain Relocation Center. That was one of the uh, internment spots. He's really into Yellowstone, so I get a nice book on the Hot Springs, a Wyoming County History, Thermopolis, uh, note cards, and also again, link in the description uh, to uh, Mayor Mike. That's his uh, Twitter handle. You can follow him there. And I like this. This is uh, Wyoming whiskey, Kirby, Wyoming. And these are um, these are. I guess you put these in the freezer and then you put them in your drink. And the idea is that you're not going to water down the drink. I don't drink whiskey, but I do drink like lemonade and stuff like that. And I'm getting blood all over the place. Mm. Uh, delicious. Good source of iron, I suppose. And people eat like, drink it like a eat like blood meal and stuff like that, blood sausages rather. And they'll go drip it out in the garden, and uh, it'll feed the plants. There'll be a little bit of me in them before I eat them and recycle the same atoms. Also, 
There's a critical race uh, theory book forthcoming for which I wrote the foreword. And the uh, author sent me some interesting art here, which I really, really like. And uh, they run the uh, Culture War Encyclopedia substack. There's a link in the description to that as well. The Jester. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I like that. Sent me a nice letter here as well. I, I won't read that out verbatim because it'd take a while. We've got Dr. Crowley, again, over on Twitter. He sent me uh, some fan art here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that originally had a frame, but the, fr the frame uh, cracked. I mean, the glass on the frame cracked. And he also did this, again, speaking of Fallout. This is Kate from Fallout, my favorite companion. You know, the rough and tumble Irish chick that uh, likes drugs and drinking a little bit too much. I can sympathize. Well, at least I could in the past. And then finally, and she didn't want a shout out, uh, a girl named Liz actually sent this to me, uh, but Vadim Prokopov's site uh, is in the description as well. And this is a rustic art, it's made from fallen wood, and so he takes like the, the fallen wood and carves it, and makes like little rustic figures like this. I think, what was this one? I can't remember what this one was called, it's got a little symbol on it there. Little bit devilish, little bit uh, witchy. I like this sort of thing. You've seen it in the background. Uh, I didn't want to give it a shout out until I had everything together. So yes, I do apologize that the first take I accidentally mixed up uh, Dr. Crowley and the Culture War uh, substack. I do apologize for that. So I figured I'd make it again. All sorts of cool stuff, including a very, very sharp knife. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rather unfortunate. I need to get a tetanus booster now. I'm sure that I'll be fine. That's about all. Oh, yes, uh, and I thank all of you for sending these things. If you do want to send me cool shit for a shout-out, uh, I'm always appreciative of that. I like everything that I'm sending. People send all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, postcards, fan art, various merch, stuff they've made themselves, swords and knives and gardening stuff. It's a good life being a content creator who actually engages with their fans. Some, I know, do not. They're missing out, too. You know, somebody wants to send you cool stuff, you never even respond to them. It's a big problem. That's about all. Peace out.